BYU football practice just ended. Let's bring in Paul Asike, the <laughs> senior running up? back. Paul, how's it going, man? Good, thanks. How you doing, Jerem? I'm great. Brian Logan's in the house as well. How was practice today? Oh, it was a grind. Uh, end of the season. We're looking forward to it. Just uh, just battling it through. Uh, real physical. It's been getting pretty intense at practice uh, with the defense and the offense. So it's been good. Are you are you guys smacking each other around? We are, man. There's been there's been a few shuffle scuffles in, in practice, and so it's getting the heat. It's getting the blood uh, warmed up for the game. So. <laughs> does it feel <laughs> nice. like Does it feel like August again, where you've had a little bit of a break, and uh, maybe there's some anxiety that's coming up? Yeah, no, I think it is. We yeah, we had a two week break, and so we we, cut, we got back into it this week, and uh, it's just been a it's just been pretty competitive, which is good. Competitive edge. Paula CK joins us uh, right after practice here on BYU Sports Nation. You're a senior. This is it. This is your last game. What's that like as you prepare for your final go? Man, it's uh, kind of bittersweet, you know. Um, I'm looking forward to the next challenge, and I'm looking forward to finishing it off strong. Um, you know, obviously we're going out to have a good time, but I really want to finish strong um, along with my boys, especially Devin Mahina and, and things like that, who's standing right next to me. I was going to say, he's probably right next to you. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> yeah. Devin. Hey, hey, Paul. Uh, have you thought about furthering your your football career? Um, yeah, I kind of have actually. In these last these last couple of weeks, um, uh, it's kind of been encouraged to me from coaches and 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 so forth. And so, um, kind of just take it a step at a time. You know, let the dominoes fall a little bit. But uh, I have. I've been thinking about it. It's a kind of a decision that me and my my wife have made um, to put it to put effort into that and. Uh, training for the pro day and stuff so have you heard anything from any feedback from nfl scouts uh yeah i have actually just um pretty much encouraging me to go i uh, give it a go that, that's that's exactly what i just told you so um <clears throat> you know the opportunity has, has risen so um mm. you know i'm gonna give it a go nice awesome are are there other uh new zealanders that have played american football are you are you one of the first um, I'm not sure. Uh, well, there's, there's, you know, Josh Whoopi, um, he's one of them too. Uh, he's on, he's over on scout team, but, yeah. um, from what I'm aware, uh, yeah, I, I don't know any other New Zealanders that have. Hmm. Uh, <clears throat> is, is professional rugby in the cards possibly somewhere down the line for you? Possibly. Um, I have, I have one more semester of schooling and, and then, uh, playing the second half of the rugby season, uh, next semester. And so that's kind of another, uh, alley, I guess. That's that's uh, looming with me, so it's a possible. It's, it's uh, might, I might be able to do that. Paul Asike is on BYU Sports Nation. If I'm not mistaken, you're four for four in rugby national championships. Is that correct? Yeah. Uh, yep. You could go five for five this nice. year. Yeah. <laughs> that's unbelievable. <laughs> what What have you had more attention for? Being a running back on the football team or your hit against that kid uh, for Navy? Um. They kind of associate with each other. I mean, <laughs> I, I, would, I would probably say that the, the rugby hit from Navy. Um, most of the people say, "Are you that rugby guy that that um, that truck that Navy defender?" So, and then they kind of associate it with, "Wait, hold on, you're one of the fullback running backs for BYU." Mm-hmm. And then you know they kind of put the pieces together. So, <laughs> you could you could send those highlights, your rugby highlights, to NFL scouts. Just yeah. send just send that one. <laughs> That's yeah, it. I, you don't I, need. I, to send, you had three touchdowns in a game earlier this year. You don't need no, to send that. No, just send the navy play. One hit. That's what I do without pads. Imagine <laughs> yeah. what I can do with pads. I mean, no, I have met with um like agents and uh, scouts who who actually mentioned that play too. So I mean, they're quite they're, those who are interested in uh, representing have kind of aware of that play. So. Absolutely. Paula CK is on BYU Sports Nation. Uh, Jamal Williams' mother just weighed in on Twitter. She said, "Let's go, Paul. I need you to run." Those Memphis linebackers over. <laughs> oh, didn't she? That's pretty cool. <laughs> Memphis seems to have a good defense, Paul. That seems yep. to be the strength. How does the BYU offense plan on attacking that defense? Yeah, definitely. They actually run a really similar defense to uh, our defense, actually. They run a 3-4 and play a lot of zone. And so um, it's going to be a good test for us. Uh, we're kind of used to that because we run, we run uh, our, our offense against uh, our, our defense that runs the same defense. Um but uh, we're just planning on kind of executing and just catching everything and, and running hard. And kind of that's our uh, motto for this game is just to be physical and finish off the play. Paul, T. John Karoma, uh, uh, it was announced that he was an All-American, uh, freshman All-American. How has it been running behind T. John this year? 
Oh man, that guy is awesome. He's brought he's brought a lot of physicality and um energy to our offensive line. And uh there's no surprise in, in him receiving honors and, and uh and men- honorable mentions. But uh, it's been really fun, um, blocking next to him and and uh, running behind him because he's just he's just physical, you know. He's an absolute beast. So, nah, it's a real privilege to be able to have played played a year behind him. So, Paul, I keep hearing that he's the strongest dude on the team or one of the strongest dudes. Who is the strongest guy on the team? <laughs> um, mate, it depends what what uh what lift you're talking about. If you're talking about squats, it's probably um yeah either Tijon or or a Tuni Kanuch. Mm. And then if uh, you're talking about bench. Yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. There's there's a bunch of strong dudes. I don't know who's the strongest, but I would say that he's one of the strongest. Who looks the strongest? <laughs> Who looks the strongest? Um, Tanner Baldry. That Is he standing by you too? No, he's oh, no, okay. he's not. <laughs> no, he's a, oh. he, he's a uh, defensive lineman, right? Yeah, he's a D, he's a D lineman, but he's just yoked, man. I mean, he's a beast. Riker Matthews looks the strongest. I mean, we have some big dudes, man. And you get to run behind all those right. guys, absolutely. Yeah, no. uh, in six days, Miami Beach Bowl uh, in Marlins Park. Does playing in a baseball stadium uh, last year help you in any way coming into this season, or it's just a field, whatever? Yeah, it's just a field, whatever. Um, it's kind of it's, it's weird how the the, um, the seating is set up, you know, because everyone's mm-hmm. kind of on one side. But um, for the most part, I, I, I don't know if it, uh, for me, at least in my opinion, I don't think it will help or hurt our performance. It's kind of we just got to go out there and focus. Playing in Miami uh, with rugby and football, you've been able to travel to some different spots. But this, yep. is, this isn't a bad way to end your career in Miami, is it? No, nah, it's going to be fun, man. It's going to be warm. I mean, the the bowl activities and and having family and friends there. It's going to be su- it's going to be really fun. Uh, fun way to end the season off. So it's going to be. Uh, that's that's that can be a bad thing, you know. Like there's so much temptation and so many other things, and so we've got to keep focused. And that's going to be a, a big challenge for us. Staying focused, yep. Um, that's always tough when you go to the Vegases and the Miamis yeah, of, of yeah, the exactly. world. What what activities are you looking forward to doing the most when you guys um, are out there? I think we're going to a Miami Heat game, okay. and so uh, we're, we're looking forward. That's where it's one of the biggest activities that um, that I've seen so far that we're doing. So I'm looking forward to that. That'll be pretty fun, and just being outside. Uh, our hotel is right at right at, literally right outside the beach, and so it's going to be good to be at a beach again, I guess. <laughs> Oh, yeah, and we'll party with you. BYU Sports Nation is going to be there, Paul. We'll be there oh, awesome. uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Monday. So uh, Just Jeremy Spencer, though. <laughs> yeah, Bri- Brian, Brian's going to hold down the fort back here in uh, Provo. Right. Paul, the, the season, uh, four wins, four losses, four wins. Uh, a great turnaround. Uh, you guys figured some things out. Do you have to win the bowl game to feel good about this season, or did you already accomplish something that you feel is going to be good regardless of the result? <laughs> No, that's a good question. I, in my opinion, we have to win for it to for the season to feel to feel like we accomplished something. You know, it's been it's been really good winning these last four games and coming back and kind of turning around from adversity and things like that. But I mean, to me personally, that, that that'll mean uh, not very much if we don't come out with a W this game. I mean, we've like don't get me wrong, we've accomplished a lot and overcome adversity. But uh, in my opinion, I just really want to finish strong. <laughs> And uh, you know, get that come out with that W at the end. Okay, looking for the seventh bowl win in Bronco Mendenhall's ten years as a head coach at BYU. Paul, we wish you the best of luck. Thanks for the time. Thanks, guys.